let's say you want to set up an iTunes account uh, that is only able to download free content. In other words, it does not have a credit card attached to the account. Uh, this is very useful if you're giving your students access to iTunes to download applications or podcasts. And obviously, um, you don't want them to have access to your credit card information. Generally, when you're signing up for a new iTunes account, it asks for your credit card information. But there is a way to get around that. We're not going to click the sign in button and create a new account that way. Uh, if we go about it that way, we're going to have to enter credit card information. However, if you search for a free iPod application, um, I'll show you how to get around the credit card requirement. So I'm going to search for the Google Earth application here in the iTunes store. And it's my first hit under applications. So I'll go ahead and just go into that app. And we'll notice it's a free application here. And I'm going to click Get App. And it's going to ask me to sign in to my iTunes account. Um, but if I don't have one yet or just want to create a new one without a credit card, I'll click Create New Account. And it's going to take us through some steps. And I'll take you as far as I can without actually signing up for an account and just show you how to do it. So I'll click Continue here. I will then agree to the iTunes terms and conditions and click continue. And then here we're going to enter our email address, which will be our new Apple user ID. So whatever email address you want to use for it, you'll want to make sure it's a valid email that you check and can verify. Enter a password enter a question, answer your birth date, and whether or not you want to receive news and special offers via email. Click continue. And here, this is where you're going to have the option of clicking none for the credit card information. Now you only get this option if you set up your new account by going through this process of going to a free iPod application, trying to download it, and then creating a new account from there. Then you would enter your personal information, name, address, things like that. You would continue, and iTunes would then prompt you to go and check the email you provided to verify the account, and then you will have an account that you can download free content without having your credit card information tied to that account.